don't want to have to be making this type of video again, but here we are. So by now, you know, if you're a Deuce fan or a Johnny's fan, you know that Tegoshi left news. <laughs> oh, it's been so long and I'm still so upset. Okay, so yeah, um, I don't even know what time it, like how long it's been. What is it? The middle of July? I guess it was three, four weeks ago, like a month ago now, maybe, um, when... I guess about a month because it was like June 19th when it was announced. So Tegoshi left news. <sighs> I hate saying those words so much. So I'm not going to go into the whole thing, but basically it boils down to that Tegoshi was um, unsatisfied with the management and um, the restrictions placed on him in the company with regards to what he can and cannot do and um pers it seems like personally and um kind of professionally like events and types of the work he can do with news so that's the essential like the main reason which i'm gonna say totally valid reasons to leave your job I like, I would like to think that I'm a person who is um, kind of realistic about um, thinking about idols. Um, I do understand that they are their own people and these are their jobs and they are free to change their job if they want to. Uh, leaving your job because of the management and the restrictions it places on you and how you feel like you can't grow um, is a completely valid reason for leaving your job. The um, unfortunate side to that, or the other side of that, I guess, is that, um, or the difficult part of it, I guess is what I'm trying to say, is that being an idol means you have a lot of people um, looking at you um, for your job and love that you do your job and um, rely on you doing your job for their own happiness, which I know is not a, a um, kind of healthy way to view idols, but that's just a reality of the job. And that's kind of what the job of being an idol is, um, especially in Johnny's, because Johnny's is all about selling you dreams. That's literally what they're there for. So I understand that. Um, so it's, it's difficult, you know, when somebody wants to change their job and a lot of people rely on that person for their job. Um, so yeah, I don't really know where this is going and I'm going to try to keep it short because I've tried to film this one other time and it was like an hour long and I don't want that to happen again. Um, so yeah, Tegoshi left because he was unhappy with the direction that of the job or the management of the job. Um, so um, I'm not happy about it and I'm not happy about things that have happened afterwards. So Tegoshi held a press conference um, after he left um, because it seems there was a whole thing with like a suspension um, and um, drama because of that. And it seems like it seemed like Tegoshi like left because of that suspension when in reality that wasn't the truth and he tried to explain that in his press conference. Um, so in the press conference he said that he was planning on leaving News and Johnny's um, after Story was done and then Story got cancelled and so he was trying to figure out how to feed his family which okay um and so he was trying to figure out what he was going to do for work and um essentially it looks like there was some sort of miscommunication between some people and then johnny's was like all right you want to leave leave and it seems like he got fired ahead of time for trying to come up with a plan for after 
maybe when story was gonna happen he kept on bringing up charity work which i think a lot of the things that he was saying was um like kind of to save face a little bit don't hate me but yeah um and yeah so essentially the only thing i was really interested in was um did he hate news and did he hate being in news and the people in news and the answer to that question is no so he um said that he was not upset with the news members and the work that he did as news it was basically the management so yeah so after that he opened up a twitter account and he opened up a youtube channel and an instagram and he has like a fan club now that is just opening so yeah it's a lot um so a few things like the thing okay so like literally like do not hate me for this so the fact that tegoshi was like using the thing where he's like "Ooh, i need to figure out how to feed my family like i don't know how idols are paid or how they're paid in johnny's um if it's based off of like a salary with supplements from contracts or anything like that or if it's basically just on contracts like how much you are doing how many jobs you are doing um if that is how they are paid um like per job or if it's like salaried or anything like that i have no idea um but tegoshi's excuse of like I need to know how to feed my family like I'm just gonna say it like bullshit okay like uh that man drives a fucking Lamborghini so if you're that strapped for cash like sell your Lambo and then we'll talk um so it was more of like how am I going to keep up my celebrity status of living I that's just that's just what I think so um I feel like that excuse like not I need to feed my family like not an excuse at all like he was just looking for what he's going to do next so yeah um a, a lot of some of his excuses seem to be like to save face but like i don't want to be a bad guy um and some of his actions afterwards have seemed to be like mm, capitalizing off of the fact that he was in news and um trying to like bait fans that way where not the greatest because you know you're done with that so like let's not try to bait fans you know <laughs> um but yeah so um tegoshi left news is gonna be three people it's gonna be masu koyama and shige and like this <sighs> Ugh, this upsets me so much okay so um when Yamabe and Ryo left it was gut-wrenchingly difficult for me um like I have a video like literally from the day that it was announced they were left um where I'm just like crying my eyes out and um I didn't want to do that this time I kind of wanted to collect my thoughts but um yeah so he let's see when they left it like broke me but this like killed me <laughs> essentially um so again when Ram Yam Ramapi Yamapi and Rio left I found out in the middle of a lecture at college so I was in the middle of class which was um upsetting and then this time I found out when I was at work I was on like my last hour of my shift I didn't have anything to do so I was like I'm gonna go on Twitter and then just like tons of tweets just being like Tegoshi or I can't believe this and stuff like that and I was just like holy shit did Tegoshi just leave news and unfortunately I was right so um yeah so after like the essentially four member news is like my perfect version of news i like all of them and it doesn't feel weird it doesn't feel forced and just it was so perfect there's no room for like a center or anything like that it just seemed so like perfect and comfortable and so much like home and it was just like i felt personally i felt that if um news was going if somebody was going to leave news then that would be the end of news because 
like it's so like perfect and well-rounded that um w there's no point almost um that's kind of a feeling that I got um from that or from four member news so um yeah so I always thought that if um one person left they would all leave stay in Johnny's just like it would be the end of news in general um so I feel like maybe like Tegoshi said that he wanted to finish for story and um he told them like back in the beginning of the year sometime that he wanted to leave after story was done and I feel like maybe if story had finished then and Tegoshi left then news would have been done like that seems like it would have been a good ending point you know like we had a good uh 16 17 year run and um thanks for the memories and i'll be heartbroken but you know it's better that it goes off ends like this um and like that would have been like if news was gonna end that would have been my preferred method <laughs> tbh um and that didn't happen tegoshi left prematurely i feel like maybe he could have like waited you know for something to happen I, I I don't know um but yeah that's how I always felt like news was gonna end is um one person leaves and they're all done um and I'm definitely glad that they're continuing as three people it just feels like it's a little bit it feels like there's something missing and there definitely is missing like like news's heart is missing not saying that Tegoshi is like the like the thing that keeps news going but it's like literally in like the the um the shape thing of news like Tegoshi is the heart like so I don't know it just it always it feels like there's something missing and it's really upsetting that this keeps on happening to this idol group that I love so much and I've spent so much time with with um and I never got to see them that way the way that I love them so much um that it has really been like the best time in my fangirl life almost like in regards to like interacting with people online like um the four of them have just brought so much much joy and I've really enjoyed the people that I've met through um news in this phase of their life and um it just feels like you know that's over <laughs> you know um I I really wanted to see them I had the chance to see them on their comeback in 2012 and it's still and will forever be one of the biggest regrets of my life that I didn't get to see them <laughs> that way and I'm like I just think about how I'm never gonna be able to see them that way and um I try I was gonna go this year like I really thought about it but then I decided to be responsible and buy a car and it's not like it would have happened anyway um this year but I just hate that I wasn't able to make it happen um before that where I can't see this like perfect news that I loved so much um, but hopefully I'll be able to go see them next time when coronavirus is over and it's actually safe, um, to have concerts and it's actually, um, I'm actually allowed to leave the country because no one will let Americans into their countries. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, I'm just so sad. It's been... A while now where um I feel like most of my like really raw emotions are over and I've just kind of resigned the fact that it's going to be the three of them from now on and that's really what I want to concentrate my efforts on right now is um the three of them for a while I was following Tegoshi on Instagram but for me personally it's too painful I can't do it right now um it took me a long time to forgive Yamapi and Rio I didn't even um I don't think I forgave 
Rio until after he left Johnny's. Like, I followed him on Instagram when he opened that up. Um, I followed Yama P on his Instagram when he opened it up, but it was also several years after he had left. So I'd kind of gotten it over it. I'm still, like, not... I don't know. It's very complicated. I hold a grudge for my entire life. Um, so don't cross me or I will hate you forever. But, um... Yeah, so I tried to follow Tegochi on Instagram, but I just, I couldn't do it. It's still too painful for me right now. Um, so I want to focus my energy on um, supporting Masu, Koyama, and Shige as the news. So um, I don't know how I'm going to do that um, right now, but... Um, I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll find a way to join the fan club finally after so many years. Um, and I don't know. I just like, I, I hate this situation so much. Like I, it, I mean, it's been uh, several weeks now, so I've kind of resigned my fact myself. I've said this before, but I've resigned myself to the fact that this is the way it's going to be for the rest of time, um, and it's upsetting, it really is, and, um, I wish it wasn't like this, but that's the way it's gonna be. Um, I'm not going to take down my, um, four-member news stuff. It might be a little bit painful for me to look at it, but it's been there for so long that I'm not gonna get rid of it. I have, um, story goods. <laughs> Um, being shipped to me as we speak. So um, that's gonna be a cry fest when I open that, especially because I got the parka and that parka. So um, yeah, it just, it just sucks because I mean, yeah, it just sucks. The last performance we got of them was what was on supposed to be like the opening weekend. I think of story and it was a performance for the four of them in that parts of four story parka uh, singing you are not alone and that's the last performance we have of them it's the last one and the happy live was like not a very happy live um you you could tell that like I don't think at the point of recording that they knew um, that Tegochi was gonna leave because just from the way things seem to happen, um, they found out that, um, they found out that Tegochi was leaving, like, pretty much right before we did, um, like, right before they announced it, so, um, but it just felt like something was off and maybe they knew something was up when that Happy Live was recorded, um, definitely cried my eyes out in that, especially when they left out Tegoshi's um lines so yeah I just want all of the best for news going forward and I'm glad that this time they don't seem to be taking a hiatus they're making appearances they're um making videos on their j-web or the not the j-web um the like fan club there was like a fan club video recently um and I think they have plans to do more they have um appearances coming up so it doesn't seem like they're taking a break and I feel like they're done taking hiatuses um it seems like Masu is that way there was like a show he was on where he was like hitting a pinata and he like trying to get his frustrations out and he like yelled about Tegoshi leaving um so I feel like they're done with their hiatuses and I am certainly done with hiatuses from news like I just want them to come out of this super strong and tell the world like not that we don't need Tegoshi but like we're gonna be okay and you guys are be gonna be okay and that's what it feels like when they are like making appearances and stuff like that um after this period of time so um I definitely wish, um, let's see, oh, the other thing I wanted to touch on before, um, the end of this video is that, like, I, like, I hope nobody is, like, 
I should have said this in the beginning, but I hope nobody was upset with me with some of the things that I've said in this video because I know I have a few harsh words about Taegoshi. Um, but I'm like literally like not happy with him <laughs> right now. I mean, plain and simple. But um, I feel like news fandom went through a rough time and it still kind of feels like we're going through a rough time and people are being like really mean to each other and I really wish that people would not be. Um, and but also I recognize I recognize that everybody has um, different ways of grieving and you know dealing with these situations but just after this like there was a lot of fighting between people and um, I really was kind of um, a little bit embarrassed by that um, that like I I don't know I just hope nobody gets upset with me um, because you know I'm just expressing my feelings and that's all people were doing before um, and are still doing about this situation and um, I feel like news fans have a little bit of a reputation um, as being a little bit um, I want to say reactive and kind of like um, I don't want to use the word whiny, but I feel like maybe other people would say um, whiny. I'm not saying, like, it just, this is so hard to talk about, but like, I'm not proud of the way that people reacted or um, interacted with each other. Like, obviously everybody has their own ways of like grieving and everything like that and dealing with the situation, but like, um, being mean to other people is like literally like not it. <laughs> like um so that was a little bit I want to say embarrassing and upsetting um because it was a difficult time and we didn't need um people like name calling and um stuff like that so um or being like rude to other people so not super happy about that um tbh but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, the only thing I'll say is that just respect other people's opinions on um, Tegoshi, whether or not they're going to support Tegoshi um, from now on, whether or not um, they were upset with him before and now have come around or they still haven't come around, um, anything like that, because, you know, people are allowed to like what they like, um, like, but just like, don't be mean to other people. You know, I hope that came off right and nobody hates me now <laughs> um but yeah so those are kind of my thoughts on Tegoshi and three member news I'm definitely going to I think I said this before but I'm definitely going to focus my attention mostly on um news and not Tegoshi for right now um I've done it's, it's painful for me um to even see like his name on Twitter and people talking about it. I'm like, it's fine that people are talking about him and everything like that, but I have just set up ways where I don't have to see it as much on my Twitter feed. Um, so yeah, I decided to unfollow him on Instagram just cause I can't take it right now. So those are my thoughts. Um, I want to wish the best of luck to three member news and I'm going to be there for you until the day you all leave the agency, whenever that may be, whether it's um, in a year, in five years, in 10 years, until you're dead, I don't, until I'm dead, I, I don't care. I will always be here for news. I'll be here for news even if it's just Masu in the end. Like, news is my heart and um, they always bring me joy despite whatever situation they're going through so um yeah that's i guess that's all i have to say about this situation um let me know what you think um please don't hate me for my opinions on this and um hopefully i'll get some more videos out on this channel soon ish i have a few ideas definitely an unboxing of my story goods um, and maybe one other list video 
soon. I feel bad that I've abandoned this channel, but also my other channel is not going great. So <laughs> we're struggling. Um, but yeah, um, I guess thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!